packets of vaccines fell from the skies across East Tennessee today. This is an ongoing project by state and federal leaders to cut the cases of rabies in wild animals. The disease is preventable, but it can be deadly in humans. Tennis reporter Caitlin Keenahan joins us with an effort that targets raccoons. Caitlin. John, crew spent much of the day dropping vaccine baits all across East Tennessee. Rabies is rare. There was just one case of raccoon rabies in East Tennessee in 2021. But the managers of this program want that number to be zero. At least a milliliter from what I understand. This is an up close look at the raccoon rabies vaccine. The USDA Wildlife Services team is loading millions of them into this little plane. We use planes to get a majority of the baits out, and the reason for that is because we are covering a really large area. On Thursday afternoon, crews took flight over Cock, Green, and Hawkins County. The immediate goal of this project, as well as the, the program as a whole, is to prevent the spread of raccoon rabies into new areas where it doesn't currently exist. The idea to spread those rabies vaccines by air took root on the ground. Beginning in the late 1990s, we started this oral rabies vaccine program. It is really the most effective way to manage for and prevent rabies on the landscape. Success on the forest floor propelled vaccine distribution into the skies. Crews funnel those fishy smelling vaccine baits to the hungry critters down below. They'll bite into them thinking it's, a, you know, some other type of alternate food. And then the vaccine will coat the back of their throat and that's how they'll become vaccinated. A wild idea to get rid of a wild disease. By vaccinating these animals, we're creating a barrier. We're preventing the spread, which thereby reduces the number of animals that could potentially spread the disease into, uh, you know, into households through people's pets or their livestock. If your pet dog or cat finds and eats a bait, don't worry. Federal managers say they've tested those baits on 60 different species and they aren't harmful. We'll see them drop those baits in other parts of East Tennessee throughout the weekend. John. Caitlin Keenahan on that effort. Thank you, Caitlin. Let's